I never thought I would be able to make one of these videos, but here I am sharing with you all that I have quit my nine to five job. Hey, what's up? Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Carrington and I want to thank you for joining me on this video. It is a crazy feeling. I feel nervous, excited, happy, a little fearful about the future, quite honestly, but I've been ready to do this. I was working with a small insurance company and quite honestly, it was a, a pretty good job. I had a great manager, an awesome team. Everyone was really kind, very helpful. So in terms of the people I was working with, I had no issues there. I just felt kind of stuck in this role that I was in and in this job that I had. And I felt that it was time for me to move on from it. The company itself was pretty pretty great, but it was just not something I loved or was passionate about at this time in my life. I grew up all of my life dancing and singing. The performing arts has been a major part of my life since I was a kid. My mom got me into dance classes at the age of four. I first started off tap dancing and then, then eventually I got into ballet. I did ballet for all of my life up until I got to college and I wasn't able to attend a college that had a dance program. Although I had applied to some colleges with dance programs and I did get a scholarship to one. However, financially, it just was not going to work out for me. So I decided to attend a college that offered a better financial aid. And ultimately I had a great experience. Honestly, I met my best friends there. I had a great major, I majored in communications and I still was able to dance. However, I joined a hip hop dance team and that's how I eventually got into hip hop. And then I started taking street jazz and I joined a local hip hop team called Team 860 at Studio 860. I had a great experience there. And yeah, right after college, I actually got a job at a different insurance company and I was a customer service rep there. And quite honestly, it was just not the position for me. I was there for eight months, but mentally, it was not the place for me to be. So I had to leave that job. And then I moved on to this current or most recent insurance job that I had in which I would just check over policies, make sure that everything was looking all right. Like I said, the job itself was good. It was pretty quick to pick up. I just realized it was not for me because as I've stated, I've been dancing all my life and also singing. I love the performing arts. I love to perform. That's honestly what I would do if I had the opportunity. I don't think I took the chance to really put myself out there because I wasn't confident in myself at the time. As a dancer, I just never felt like I was good enough. And I actually took a break from dance for a bit. After getting out of a really bad relationship a few years ago, I just kind of cut it off because the person I was with was involved in that field and I was like, nope, I don't want to be <laughs> surrounded by anything that reminds me of this person, I guess. Kind of a dumb reason to do that, but that is what I did at the time. So I just kind of focused on work, focused on doing this office job. I never saw myself being in an office position, a nine to five. I never saw myself doing that. I just always saw myself as somebody who would want to perform and get paid doing what I love if possible. About six months ago, it was back in October, November, one of my friends had told me about a local dance company that was opening up here in Connecticut because they will be opening up a dinner theater. And they told me they were looking for dancers, this dance company with people who had a background in ballet, contemporary, modern, jazz, anything like that. At the time, I wasn't even thinking about like, should I do it? When I first heard about it, I was like, I don't know, because you know, I had this good paying job. Should I really leave that for dancing right now? Like, I just don't know if that seems like a stable thing to do. And one day I was just sitting at my desk. Keep in mind, I've been working remote the last two years. And I was sitting at my desk at my house and I was like, hmm, what am I doing? What is my plan here? Like, how long do I really plan to stay at this job? Because it's not a passion of mine. And I was thinking, why not just go for it? Why not just do the thing that I love? Why not go to the audition and see what happens? Cause maybe I won't even make it. But if I do make it, why not take the chance and say, you know what? Yeah, I decided to go for it. And I got to do this for some time. 
even if I'm not making as great of money. I don't, let's like, why not try it? So I decided to go to the audition. I got the job, booked it. And for the last few months since November, I have been dancing almost every day and I've been getting paid to do what I love. And it's been awesome. At the time when I first got it, I wasn't ready to let go of my remote job because I was like, I just don't know income wise how this is gonna work. Although I will say with the dance company, payment wise, I'm doing pretty well. So I asked my remote job, I told them about the opportunity and I told my manager, you know, this has been my passion. I've been a dancer, I've been training all my life and I really wanna go for this. However, I'm not yet ready to leave here. So is there a way where I can work it out where I work a few hours in the morning and a couple hours at night after my rehearsal and I'll do that Monday through Friday. The company did agree, so I was working 30 hours for my remote job because I'd work four hours in the morning. I would get up for 6 a.m., work till about 10 a.m., go drive over to rehearsal, rehearse till 4.30. Then I'd come back, log on for six and work till about 8 p.m. at night. Might sound crazy, but that was <laughs> what I did since November up until now. My last day was April 22nd. Five months of doing that, it was a lot. It was getting tough. Waking up early to log on to do this job, coming back after rehearsal, I didn't realize how tiring it would be for me to then log back on to do some work. Of course, I got my work done, but it was getting to be difficult for me to wake up at these early hours to do this job, to then go to rehearsal. Like, My heart just wasn't in it for the remote job while also balancing dancing full time. So I ultimately decided, I think I was ready to let go and just fully pursue my passions because I realized working my remote job while dancing full time, while also serving on the weekends, because I do have another job where I just like to stack up jobs here. I actually had five different jobs if we want to go through it. My remote job, the dance company. I am a social media manager for the restaurant restaurant I work at. I serve there and then I also have another side part-time gig where I write blog posts for a local nonprofit. <laughs> so it's been a lot. I can't balance all of this out. I'm not living my life because I'm also trying to, you know, have fun with friends, family, and my boyfriend. Like when do I have time for myself and my passions? When do I have time to pursue music and my YouTube channel? It just wasn't adding up for me. And I literally completely neglected this channel. I neglected my music and it was just like, I am young. I do not have children. It's really just myself I have to worry about right now. Why not go after this right now? Why not just fully put myself into my passions? It was about a month ago that I decided I'm not gonna do this anymore. I can't, it's just too much. So April 8th, I put my two weeks in, the day before my birthday. <laughs> and I told my manager I was very grateful and appreciative for all that the company did for me. However, I am going to pursue the dance company and my passions full force. And my manager was totally understanding. She was absolutely supportive of my choice. And I was just very happy when I put it in. I just felt this big weight lift off of my shoulders. I wrote the email up right after and I sent it to HR. And as of April 22nd, I have been done. <laughs> What am I going to be doing now? I'm going to be still dancing full time. I still have my side gigs as well. Um, however, those don't take up much of my time. I only serve once a week, so that's fine. And now I'm just gonna focus more on my YouTube channel and my music and the things that I love to do. I'll probably still be waking up, not as early as 6 a.m., but I'll still be waking up in the morning to work on the things that I wanna do. So whether it's my channel or whether it's promoting myself with my music, because as an independent artist, I'm learning there is so much that I have to do by myself. It's fine, but it's, there's a lot that I'm learning here in terms of putting myself out there. And it's a journey that I'm ready for. I'm nervous about, but I'm ready. What I'm gonna say is if you have something that you love to do, go for it. Even if you're scared and nervous, just do it because we only have one life, okay? Life is short, so just go for it. I'm very excited and I hope that you guys stick with me on my journey and 
maybe I'll get into vlogs. I don't know. I've never been a vlogger, but who knows? We'll see. If you guys are interested in that, you can let me know. Yeah, I'm excited for where I'm about to go. And hopefully, you know, not even hopefully, it can only go up from here because mentally I'm feeling really great. I'm feeling in a great place. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a comment below of support or any advice you guys want to give me or your thoughts on this in general. I look forward to the future. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Follow me on all my social media that's linked below and I will catch you all in the next video. Don't mind.